Hey everyone, standing here I'm Rila Shea. Today I want to talk about My Pen is to Being Hopper, new fiction by Afghan woman. In the introduction of the book, Tisha Dusset says that these are fictional accounts, not news report, but it's literature drawn from real life, real loss, and from reading these stories, I fully agree. These are the stories that if you pay attention, you will recognize a lot of them. You've heard about these stories before. This book was a long project that took two years and many people to complete. And the effort I think shows in the quality of the stories. A lot of these short stories show the making of a great writer, even if they're translated from other languages like Dari and Pastun. Let me give you a few examples of the, the stories formatted. For example, the first story is from Maria Majoba, translated from the Dari language, about a mother who has sent her children abroad. She feels lonely, but at the same time, she's so glad that her children are away from all the horrible local news that she's currently reading, and she has to face on a daily basis. Then, the second story comes from Fresagani, translated from the Pasto language. She's a wife who has failed at delivering any boy and has only manufactured girls. Abused by her in-laws in her home and having to accept it to, to tradition having to respect the husband's family at all times. She fought for her life as she gave birth to another girl. Then the third story that's the story of a petition writer. A man who opened a stall on the street that will fill any form for the illiterate at his area. A mother came asked for him to fill a form that will help her daughter from being forcibly married. Then a story about a woman who got fired from her checking her boss advances and the two other women who defended her also got fired from their job. And there are more of these stories. In total, there are 18 stories. You can tell that Afghanistan, just like almost every country, is not a monolith. These people either spoke different languages or speak the same language differently. They have different background life, culture even. The problem range so differently from one to another. For example, the first story is just a mother who got lonely, but she can still wear shorts in her house or outside and even buy cigarettes by herself. Others are having to deal with domestic abuse and being abandoned for other women for failing to deliver a boy. Some have to deal with violence in other more re- ma- militaristic and overpowering ways. Then another is about friendship that gone sour. Then another one is about a mother and her three daughters slowly dying of hunger and about to go homeless after the father passed away. And all 18 of the stories is very different. Although a lot of these stories are about the story of their hardship, they're not always entirely hopeless. They said in Afghanistan that women are called Shia Shar, which is live in the darkness. But still, a lot of them have leave room in the story for imagination, for a glimmer of hope, or at least a sign that life still goes on despite what's happening, despite something tragic that just happens. There are even some whimsical stories like Bad Luck by Atifa Musari, which I won't spoil for you. And there's some well-intentioned self-insert fantasy that is Ajah by, like for example, like Ajah by Fatima Kafari. As a country, Afghan has been through some tough time to say the least. They're either being attacked by other countries or being attacked by their own. And at times, both of them. And some of the most powerful, powerless of them has to live bearing a brand of victim in their life. These are some of the most talented writers in the world. These are their tragedy, these are their struggle, these are their courage, these are their strength, these are their wishes, hopes, and dreams. They are proud for their own country and people and believe that we will eventually get better.
My country was the same as I had left. Destroyed, but beautiful. With helpless and poor people, but my own people. And the most beautiful thing was my pillow. Stories like this are stories that I really want to highlight and I really want more people to read. These are their stories. Hear them. That's about it.